So the New Orleans Pelicans sit at 13th in the West, and you start to wonder, what is going on with the New Orleans Pelicans? How did this team who started off with a fire start had a really good preseason and coming into the game start to start spiraling downhill so quickly? What has happened with the New Orleans Pelicans? And the only person I can think of that has to turn this thing around is Stan Van Gundy. Van Gundy is a coach who's always had a winning season with the teams that he's been with, except for the last one or two seasons. He's always had a winning record and he knows how to win in this league. A very, very seasoned coach. Was he really the right coach? Was it right for to pass up on Mark Jackson and all these other young, hungry coaches who were out there? The New Orleans Pelicans now being 13th in the West has me thinking, how did we get here? Everyone on the coaching staff holds all the players accountable. But when is Stan Van Gundy going to hold himself and his coaches accountable? I sat there and watched an interview in disgust, man, because Stan Van Gundy literally said that the offense has not been a problem. By and large, we've played really good defensive teams. And in that five game stretch, we're 11th in the league offensively. And we're just not getting the job done defensively and so that was the focus that was the entire focus of the film we didn't show any offensive film boy if you don't get he had the nerve to try to point out the fact that we were 11th in offense in our last five games in our last five games how many games did we win the pelicans have been on a serious serious losing streak and the only reason that we are in the 11th in scoring is because we were getting blown out by the Lakers and they took AD, LeBron, and their starters off the court. So we started to catch up and score more points. We were getting blown out by the Clippers. They took their starters off the court. We couldn't find a way to score. So we started catching up with points. We were getting blown out by the Suns by 40 because we could not find a score. And the Suns were shooting lights out and we could not match their scoring ability by just handing the ball to Zion and handing the ball to Brandon Ingram. That is not an offensive game plan. We also were getting blown out by Utah Jazz twice in the second half of the game because we could not find ways to score the ball. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the offensive scheme that Stan Van Gundy has for the New Orleans Pelicans, it seems like they just hand the ball off to one guy and four guys just watch around and watch what he does. When when Lonzo Ball comes up the court, or Bledsoe comes up the court, one ball, one guy has the ball, they pass it to Brandon Ingram, or they pass it to Zion Williamson, and everybody else gets out the way. That is his offensive game plan. That offensive game plan is outdated. It's outnumbered, especially when Zion Williamson is getting doubled and triple teamed, and it makes no sense. Stan Van Gundy has to take accountability that his offensive scheme and his game plan has been very, very outdated. And he sits there and talks about, hey, it's not a problem. We just need to focus on the defensive end. Your defense hasn't been up to par either. You've been getting killed on everything but the offense and defensive glass. Steven Adams and Zion Williamson been holding down the paint. But on that garden, Lonzo Ball, Bledsoe in. People have been hitting record-breaking threes on the New Orleans Pelicans because of Stan Van Gundy's defense is also outdated. The reason I know this because whenever you're guarding old school game, you cover the inside and you allow guys to shoot the three ball. You gave up the three ball back then because a lot of guys weren't shooting them. That is not today's game. Ever since Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and KD we're on the same team. The three ball has been more important than ever in the offensive game. You must guard the three ball. You must guard it. There's nothing else to say about that. You have to run guys off the three-point line. I would rather give up a long two than give up a three-pointer. You all, can you please watch the New Orleans Pelicans game? The reason the Pelicans are giving up so many threes, they have... They have Bledsoe and Lonzo at the top. They make Zion Williamson scoot over to the middle. And when they do a switch, 
it leaves a guy wide open on Zion's side or leaves a guy wide open on Brandon Ingram's side for a wide open three-pointer. They do it every time. He's so focusing on covering the middle and guys are shooting the ball really, really well against the Pelicans. Charlotte beat us by shooting threes. The Suns beat us by shooting lights out on us. Joe Ingles, uh, Bogdanovich beat us by himself by just shooting threes for that team when Utah. They weren't doing nothing special. They were literally switching it on Steven Adams or switching it on Zion Williamson and leaving an open man in the three because Zion Williamson is sitting in the middle trying to clog up the defensive end and not let nobody come in the middle. It's pointless. These guys want to shoot threes. They're moving around the three-point line. And Van Gundy's offense is outdated. You cannot just have Steven Adams set a screen and then one guy goes around it and have no guys cutting to the basket, nobody cutting behind anyone, no one, you know, you don't have anything going. Like, you don't pass the ball to get out of the zone. You either pass it to one guy and get out the way, and your transition offense is just dead right now. Like, you have to have a faster game plan. You cannot sit there and try to sugarcoat the fact that your offense is horrible by saying that you were 11th in the last five games, and you only won one of those games. And you were getting torched in that game by... De'Aaron Fox. This is a team you can literally beat them with one player because of Van Gundy's defensive scheme. The defensive scheme was horrible. Especially, you got exposed by the Suns. I am so glad we played the Suns. Because the Suns were showing us the fact of how an offense should look. You should be shooting it. You should be driving. You should be passing it to your bigs. A little bit of everything to beat a team completely. You shouldn't just be passing it to one guy. They were passing the ball all over the Pelicans when we played the Suns. And Van Gundy has to take accountability for not being able to see that. Not being able to adjust. Also, the rotations. Van Gundy's rotations has hurt the team. You putting in Hayes and Nikel, all these guys, in for three minutes in the last minute of the game, you know, that doesn't help them guys warm up when they need to come off the bench and help our bench win games. Your bench is very important to winning because they have to give the team a rest at some point. So they need to have the skills, the experience, the knowledge in the game in order to do that. You put in Lonzo 40 minutes and Lonzo's skill set on the court, he's not even using it. Transition. If you're going to put Lonzo on the court, surround him with shooters. Don't have all four guys that cannot shoot a three ball on the court at the same time. Lonzo and JJ should be on the court. Blesso and Nikel should be on the court. Lonzo and Josh Hart should be on the court together. It needs to be these guys and shooters. Not all cutters, 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 because if you do that, you're clogging the paint. Bledsoe is not hitting shots. And you have to realize the fact that these guys cannot get it done on the offensive end together. I understand for defensive purposes. But even in on defense, it is it is not working. So Van Gundy, my question for today for Van Gundy is do you guys think that the Pelicans will adjust our personnel? Do you think Van Gundy was the right choice? Do you think Van Gundy is going to make some adjustments in order to get this team back in the winning circle? I know it's the first month of the season, but what I've seen from the New Orleans Pelicans offensively and defensively has been disgusting. Outside of Steven Adams, Zion Williamson, and Brandon Ingram, everything else is horrible. Nikhil Alexander-Walker and Josh Hart have been great. But everything else is horrible. So the New Orleans Pelicans, what should the New Orleans Pelicans be doing in order to get better better right now for this team? But Van Gundy made me so mad when he said that our offense was not a problem. That is a lie. The reason you lost to OKC is because you could not score a layup. 
You couldn't get to the layup, and you have a guy in Zion Williamson who nobody on OKC team can guard. Nobody on OKC can guard Brandon Ingram, and you couldn't get a layup. You couldn't even get to the free throw line. Van Gundy had me so heated. And he really does not want to take accountability for his outdated ass coaching. And you have an outdated backup staff because they are allowing you to keep doing the same thing you've been doing and losing games. Straight coaching. 